What's up guys, Boss here and I'm back with another YouTube video and this time we're playing the Season 17 Global Tournament again. We're going to try to get to 20 wins this time using this Mega Knight Graveyard deck. So you guys might have seen this deck if you've been watching CRL, it's been used quite a few times. I think it's a very good deck. In competitive, we don't see it as much on ladder for some reason, but in competitive, I think it's really good just because it's a very, you know, consistent deck. I think the graveyard overall right now is extremely strong. If you guys remember, it got a, you know, a rework. I don't really know if that any even ended up being a nerf at all to the card. I don't even know if it was a buff to the card. I, I mean, from what I hear from most good graveyard players, it ended up being a buff, which might be the reason why this deck is so strong right now so you have the fisherman which is great for king activations pooling things away maybe from your mega knight goblin cages are really strong building as well on defense and then the hunter is really good against lava hound and then ewas is just great because inferno drag is obviously so good against the mega knight so you have a stun for it also for sparky just reset in general can be nice bar barrel you also could use snowball if you want for the bar barrel but i kind of prefer the bar barrel just because i think it pairs really well with the graveyard it's kind of a tank but if you want to use snowball you also could but i think i just prefer bar barrel a little better so before we get in the first game if you guys want to support me you can use my creator code boss you can use it in any super slow game help support me help support the channel and i really appreciate all you guys who do use my code it means a lot all right so let's get into the first game try to get to 20 wins without losing another game if you guys remember from my last video my first loss was actually because of a disconnection so I was, yeah, kind of annoyed about that, so I really want to, like, you know, bounce back in this global tournament and ideally go as long as I can without losing another game. Okay, so we'll give this guy the good luck and see if he wants to do anything. Of course, with this deck being, you know, fairly expensive, you know, 4.1 average elixir cost, I feel like there's really, you know, no reason to immediately start the game off, you know, being, I think a little patient is fine. So he's gonna go for a miner, we'll go for a fisherman. That's completely fine. If he wanted if he was gonna wait any longer, I probably would have just gone for a bar barrel at the bridge to start the game off. Okay, let's see what he wants to do. I think I'm actually just gonna go Mega Knight in the back, to be honest. I think it's fine. Because we have the Goblin Cage in cycle, so if he decides to rush us in the opposite lane, I think it doesn't really matter anyway. He's gonna go for his own Mega Knight. Kind of makes sense because in his name it says, you know, he loves Mega Knight, so. I, I think we should be completely fine here. Like I said, the Ewas is so good against the Inferno Drag. So I'm just going to go ahead and play the Ewas right on top of the Inferno Drag. Push should get completely shut down here. We're not going to have any issues. And then we have a little bit of counter push in both lanes. I usually don't pull the trigger on the graveyard until double elixir with this deck because, you know, it's pretty expensive and I think waiting until you figure out what your opponent has is a better play. We go for a hunter paired up with this fisherman. He's going to actually have a wizard, so that's pretty interesting. Wizard is not something I see that often. Um, who is the nice? The fisherman's going to end up pulling the e -wiz. I'm going to go for a goblin cage, I think. And then maybe set up for a Mega Knight in the back. Yeah, let's go Mega Knight in the back. Should be good. He's just going to go for his Inferno Drag, so we'll set up for the Ewiz. What we have to figure out is what spells he has. I don't think we've... I believe we saw the Zap, but I don't know if he has a big spell or not. That's kind of the question. Okay, so he's going to Miner the Ewiz. Try to get rid of that Miner as quick as we can. He's going to have the Tornado. Okay, so that answers that question about the spells he has. We're going to poison this. And let's now prepare to set up for a Graveyard Push in a little bit. We now know that he has the Tornado and the Zap. Those are his spells. So now we're not... I don't think we're going to be shocked by anything else he has. I believe those most likely are the only ones he has. Unless he has maybe... I don't know, one other. But... What I'm really confused about is what his wing condition is because he hasn't even, I mean, he hasn't even shown like his wing condition, so it's a little weird. I'm going to go for a graveyard. That Inferno Drag is kind of getting perma-stunned right now, and the Mega Knight is tanking for the graveyard, so I thought it would be a good time to go in for one, and it looks like it was. We're going to get so much damage. You can see, even from just one graveyard push, you can 
take a huge chunk out of their tower. We almost take pretty much half of this tower. That's kind of crazy. So we're going to go for another Goblin Cage. All right, he's going to... Now, we don't need to play the E was high up. I don't. I'm, it's not worth it just to save a Fisherman. Oh, he's going to go for... So he has a balloon is going to be his win condition. Um, luckily, the hunter's so good against the balloon, so we should be fine there. And he doesn't have enough elixir for the Mega Knight, so that was honestly a pretty bad balloon. We're going to go for a graveyard and a poison. Really, we just need one skeleton hit, and then we win the game. If we don't get it, that would actually be kind of unfortunate, but I think we, we would be fine anyway because we can just cycle back to another, I mean, poison. Because we're one card away and triple elixir even with a pretty expensive deck we're easily able to do it so that's gonna be a good game nice first win there very very i guess unique interesting deck from him haven't seen something like that before like you know Knight. i've seen Knight balloon but i've never really seen it with you know the wizard and the you know the tornado definitely an interesting variant okay so we'll give this guy the good luck See if he wants to do anything. If he doesn't, we'll just go for... Okay, perfect. We can just Bar Barrel on the Heal Spirit. And then we'll go for a Goblin Cage. Okay, he's going to have the Earthquake. So... Hmm. guess we'll cycle Iwas. Fisherman, Earthquake. Could be like... Could be Royal Hogs, but it could also be RG, I think. We'll just have to see. We're going to poison the Zappies. I don't. I really don't feel like I have another play right now. I don't want to cycle my Mega Knight before he kind of reveals what his deck is because I think I could be punished for it. I'm just going to go for a Fisherman to pull away this Bar Barrel and then it'll also help against the Zappy. He's going to Hunter. I'll go for my own Hunter. I, I don't think he has Balloon, so we can cycle Hunter pretty freely. Oh, he's going to have RG. I don't think that was a really good RG in my opinion, just because... Wow. Um, okay, guys. He's, like, so low on Elixir right now. I don't even know how he's going to defend this. I'm going to go for a Bar Barrel. He might try to, like, Fisherman and activate the King Tower, but to be honest, I don't even think it would matter if he does that just because of how low we brought his tower. So, I mean, like, with Graveyard, you ideally don't want to you know, have them activate the king, but if you're going to take over half of their tower, I feel like at that point, it doesn't matter too much. So we definitely got the better exchange of that because we have like an 800 HP lead and we can still get graveyard damage even with him having the king activated because of course we can, if we have like the Mega Knight tanking, it will be enough for at least a few graveyard ticks. So let's set up for a goblin cage. Um, I'm actually going to poison this because alright let's go for the Mega Knight in the back now now that it's double we know what he's using but yeah I wanted to poison that just for a little bit of chip damage obviously he's actually going to have the giant skeleton so I've seen this deck before um, this RG EQ giant skeleton deck a little bit, I, I wouldn't really say off meta because I've seen it a few times, but it's definitely you know, something that's kind of like new to the meta. Oh wow, he's going to go for an RG? Hmm. That's a little aggressive. We are going to go Graveyard now. The Mega Knight's tanking, and you guys can see, even with the King Tower activated, it's going to put us into Poison range. Very nice win there. And it's because we got that huge lead early on, even though he activated the King Tower, was not enough to keep the Skeletons off of his tower. So that's going to put us at 18-1. Good stuff. Let's keep going. Two more wins to go for the 20 wins, which was the goal. So let's search for the next game. Should find it pretty quickly because at 18 wins, I don't, it normally doesn't. I think until you get to about, I would say 25 wins, it doesn't usually take too long to find a game.
Okay, he's gonna go for a Goblin Hut. Does the poison hit? No, it doesn't hit the Spear Goblin. Still think it's fine. Good value poison. After the nerf the Goblin Hut got a few months ago, poison has just been an amazing counter to it. I'm gonna go for a Cage though, just to prevent. Um, does this guy have like a graveyard or something? Because he just he kind of played Baby Dragon at the bridge. Um, I'll Ewiz just because we're at 10 Elixir. It's kind of going to support the Brawler, force a response out of him. Wow, he's going to take the Goblin Brawler hit. I'm going to go Fisherman in the back. Ooh, he's going to have Lava Hound, okay. Luckily, we do have the Hunter, which is a really good counter to it. I hope he... Mm, let's see what he does. I'm kind of curious. I can't Graveyard with the Fisherman because... I don't know what his support cards are yet, and he could have like a really good graveyard answer, so it wouldn't be that good of a play. Mega Knight is going to keep the Hunter alive. Okay, we can graveyard now for sure because he's pretty low on Elixir. Because keep in mind, he just played a. Oh, wow, he's got a. This is actually a very strange lava deck. Um. He has like Goblin Hut, Lava, Poison. It kind of, it's kind of like, it almost seems like an old school Lava deck. If you guys remember a few years ago, a lot of people used Lava Poison Miner. And like, I remember a few years ago, it was actually meta. And I think it even was paired with a Goblin Hut too. Like it was actually kind of like a meta deck. I don't remember if this is like the exact deck, but I remember people used to use like way back then, like a couple years ago. People used to use Lava Poison, Goblin Hut. All right, we're going to go for a Bar Barrel on that. I guess we'll just cycle in Ewiz. I'm going to go Fisherman at the bridge to just try to force a response out of him, maybe even take the tower. Poison on top of the Mega Minion and the Baby Dragon. See what he wants to do here. Um, we can just go for a Goblin Cage on this, Bar Barrel on the Miner. Um, I think we can just ignore the rest of this because the... Brawler and the Barbaro will be tanking. We don't need to overspend. And here we go, guys. We just need to defend this last Lava Hound push, and we should win this game. Um, th of course, it's definitely not over yet, though, because he has the slim chance of taking our tower, but I think we are fine. Our tower, I can't see the exact health because the miner's on it, but I think we have over 600 HP. So we should be okay. That's going to be a good game. Nice win there. You can see the Hunter putting in work against the Lava Hound. And he played a lot of Elixir early on. We were able to get just a huge lead and he wasn't able to come back. So 19-1. Nice win. Let's go for hopefully the last game. Putting us at 20 wins. And that'll be it, I think, for the video. Maybe if it goes by really quick, I'll play one more game. Not really sure, but we'll just see how it goes. He's going to go for a bar barrel. I'll go for my own bar barrel to counter his. And then we're going to wait from there. Okay, he's going to Fisherman. Goblin Cage is a great response to the Fisherman. If you're someone who uses Fisherman, plays it in the back. And if your opponent goes for Goblin Cage, it's kind of bad news for you because it just... Okay, well, the same thing just happened, but I guess it's fine. So it could definitely be a mirror match. Um, yeah, it, it, this actually could be a mirror match because we see him having the bar barrel, the goblin cage, the Ewis. And the hunter. So guys, I think this is a mirror match. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to go for Mega Knight in the back. He's actually going to go for... A graveyard. Not sure how I feel about that graveyard. I'm gonna go for my own. Um, because he just, okay, he just spent 10 elixir. He doesn't have enough elixir for the poison. And ooh, that's bad news for him. Um, amazing start for us though. Uh, yeah, so the guys, that's why I said I don't know about that graveyard because he kind of played the graveyard with nothing supporting it. Like, all he had was a bar barrel. So, yeah, great start for us in this mirror match so far. I mean, it was kind of just a big mistake on his end, but of course, 
I'm glad he did that because now we have a huge lead and it's pretty much going to be impossible for him to come back because now um, all we have to do is poison his graveyards. We can just basically mirror the place he does, like play our Mega Knight on his, poison the graveyards as I said, go for a fisherman on his fisherman, pretty much just do what he's doing and yeah, there's pretty much no way he's going to be able to break through. Sucks for him, this is why I said at the, at the beginning, with the cost of this deck being, you know, 4.1, fairly expensive, you know, if you're in a mirror match, you don't really want to go for a graveyard that early on. I would, I think cycling your support cards kind of passively is the, you know, the, the better play. And that is, of course, why he's going to end up losing this game. Um, wow, actually, geez, the graveyard's pretty OP. He somehow got that much damage on her tower. That was kind of crazy. Um... Let's see if we could even take another one of his towers. Nah, I don't think so. If we had more time, we probably would have three crowned him. But that's going to be a good game. Very nice win there. Um, and, uh, you know, great to end, I think, off of a mirror match. Kind of a, I guess, like a shorter video. Because as you guys know, um, I often do, you know, longer videos. Um... I'm thinking, like, do I want to play one more game? Uh, I, I mean, I guess I could, but 21, 21 wins is kind of a weird number, so I don't... Uh, I, I guess I'm going to do it anyway. I, I, but I'm pretty sure the thumbnail is going to say 20 wins, so I... Eh, whatever. What, what, I mean, I, I don't know. We, we can just play one more. It doesn't really matter. Oh, and this is log bait. This is another reason why I like having the Barbarian Barrel, because it's better versus bait, obviously. Whereas if you have the snowball, you don't really have any good response for the goblin barrel. Except the hunter, of course. That can fully counter it, but that's kind of a negative trade, so. I'm going to go for a goblin cage. He's in a knight, so probably just going to be like OG log bait inferno if I had to guess. And he's going to go for his goblin barrel. Um, whoops. I think I'm going to Mega Knight because his, his Knight's out of cycle and I feel like that's kind of his best counter to it. He does cycle back to it, but he's going to take, honestly, quite a bit of damage. So that was... Oh, nice. That's a juke. So really good for us because we can actually e was on top of it, preventing majority of the damage. Okay, so I think in this matchup, we shouldn't graveyard until double elixir for sure. He might go for a princess at the bridge. So I'm going to get a goblin cage down pretty soon to prevent him from doing that. There's a chance he'll do it. So I'm going to play it as soon as I hit 10 elixir. This will prevent him. Okay, he's going to play it in the back, so he's playing this a little passively. Um, let's go ahead and cycle Hunter in the back. Interesting Goblin Gang, not sure if that was that good of a play. Because it's just kind of going to get wasted, I feel like. Okay, that's a Juke. Let's go for a Graveyard now that it's double. We can poison the Princess. I think that's a little bit more important than poisoning the Goblin Gang. And nice, the hunter is going to get a splash on his tower. Continuing to play this passively. We're going to Fisherman. We'll go for a Bar Barrel. That's a Juke on the right side. We'll go for a Mega Knight. Ooh, let's try to get an Iwas down on this Inferno. We're setting it. I think... That should be good game now, because that Inferno was pretty much... He just spent 11 Elixir. He went for an Inferno and a Rocket. Mega Knight is tanking for the Graveyard. We can go for a Fisherman to keep up the pressure. But it looks like that is going to be a Tower Down. Really nice win. Great way to end the video. I'm glad I did end up playing one more game, because, you know, I normally do videos... My, my, I would say my average video length is like 25 minutes, so I decided why not just play one more game, and it ended up paying off. 
21 and one. So even though we ended up losing, the only one we lost was due to connection. We're doing really solid still. Had that not happened, I'd actually be 20, 22 and 0, I think. But you know, it's still looking really solid. 21 and one is not bad at all. It's definitely enough for us to even potentially finish first, even though I ended up getting a loss early on. As long as I forget about that, and just play my best the rest of the games, it might not even matter. So make sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Let me know what decks you guys want to see me try to get to 25 wins with. That'll probably be the next video, or my next video I might be pushing to 7k on ladder. I'm currently 79th in the world right now, 6903. So let me know like which video you guys would rather have me see, uh, I can't even speak, rather see pushing to 7k or 25 wins in the global tournament. Make sure, uh, that's going to be it. Thanks again until next time, guys.